IW Live is a decision support tool that provides advanced forecasting and scenario evaluation for water supply operators. Whereas a typical SCADA system will provide information about what is happening at any moment in the past and up to the current point in time, IW Live automatically updates hydraulic models with the latest telemetry data, allowing the system to predict what may happen in the future. Building on these forecasts, IW Live allows a simulation of the closure of valves or of a change in a pump's operating schedule, allowing an operator to evaluate various scenarios to solve network issues. Additionally, IW Live allows the operator to compare a simulation's predicted results with those from live data and to see where these deviate. IW Live runs standard hydraulic simulations but also water quality simulations to provide results such as water age and the concentration of contaminants in a network. An IW Live installation consists of three components. The IW Live operator interface provides a visual overview of a system, displays any network warnings, and allows operators to perform incident simulations. A separate IW Live admin interface provides easy access for the majority of system configuration, including display options for the IW Live operator interface. Finally, at the heart of the system is the IW Live server, a service that runs on a central server and performs projection simulation runs for all the models in the system. Multiple operator interfaces can connect to the same database, meaning every IW Live operator has access to all available information and simulation results. The IW Live operator interface opens to the main headline page where different model areas are represented by polygons in the center of the screen. In this example, the polygons shown are themed based on the number of warnings that are projected for the next 24 hours. We can see the red area has headline warnings, the yellow area has important warnings, and the green area has no warnings. The simple interface allows the operator to see quickly which area or model zone they need to focus on first. The IW Live core configuration consists of one or more baselines stored in the IW Live database and on which projection and incident runs are based. The primary component of each baseline is a hydraulic model of a network or part of a network created in either InfoWorks WS or InfoWater. Additional configuration settings are then added to the baseline, including connections to telemetry databases, providing the model with access to information such as reservoir levels and pump and valve statuses at any point in time. IW Live simply connects to existing data sources, meaning telemetry data is not duplicated within IW Live. Additionally, the configuration may include a weather feed connection and calendar information. Data from a weather feed provides the ability for IW Live to switch network controls or select a demand diagram for the network based on weather patterns. For example, a very hot day may cause the selection of a different demand diagram. Likewise, calendar information allows the switching of network controls or demand diagrams based on any known usage patterns. For example, public holidays may often require different control scenarios for a network, and therefore calendar information can be used to configure the network simulations for that situation. And to ensure all data from the field is available for simulations, a live data latency value can be set if required. The system can be configured to perform projection runs at any interval, with additional options for specifying a start time and for how long simulations should continue to be run. Archive options are included to ensure good management of historic simulation results. 
the top left-hand side of the headline page shows the status of the IW Live server. In this example, the server has been stopped. Below this, a list shows the baselines available within IW Live and displays the time and status of the last projection run. The bottom of the screen contains a number of summary grids, such as the totals grid, which shows the number of objects in each baseline with a warning. Warnings within IW Live highlight key simulation results following a projection run. Threshold warnings are triggered when a certain value is reached, whilst duration warnings will only be triggered when a value has been reached for a certain length of time. Warnings can be defined for each model area and for each object within a model area and can be enhanced by the application of user-defined themes. For example, a warning may highlight low pressure nodes following a simulation with a range of colors showing the severity of the warning. Configured to show only headline warnings, the grid indicates one baseline with a warning. However, changed to display headline and important warnings, the grid indicates additional warnings for the Greentown network. Alternatively, a summary view shows all headline warnings in a baseline. This example shows zero inflow warnings for reservoirs and low pressure warnings in the network. The time of onset is displayed for each warning, helping operators to determine which areas they need to look at and where problems will occur first. On the right hand side of the interface, the messages tab indicates any problems encountered with projection runs, such as being unable to obtain live data. Clicking on a polygon opens that network in the baseline page, allowing investigation of the area in more detail.